Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a clutch purse or a crossbody bag. Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome to Hectanooka 1. If you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive an email when I post new videos. To make this clutch purse, you can work with a super bulky yarn. This is super bulky. Or you could work with two strands of worsted weight yarn or even three and a nine millimeter crochet hook. Start with a slip knot and chain a foundation chain as long as you would like the width of your clutch purse to be. Like that and for me that was eight inches. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. and in each stitch across the chain. All the way across the chain. Okay, I worked all the way across the chain making a single crochet in each stitch. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. That chain one takes the place of the first stitch. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. So single crochet in every stitch across the row. Okay, I worked in every stitch across the row. And now every row will be exactly the same. It will be chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. And you will continue to do that until you have worked a rectangle that you can fold over like this and then fold this part down for the top like that and across the last row you work this buttonholes. I folded this in half and I marked the center stitch. So I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to single crochet up to the stitch that has the marker in it. Okay I reached the stitch with the marker so in that stitch I'm going to single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, and then single crochet again in the same stitch like that and then just continue to single crochet across the row and fasten off and that will form a buttonhole and on this side I'm going to fasten off with a long enough yarn end to be able to sew the side seam, thread the yarn ends into a needle, fold the clutch where you would like it to be I'm going to weave my yarn end down the side till I reach here. And then I'm going to start sewing down the side of the bag. So I'm just going to go through one stitch, come across like that all the way down. And if your yarn end was not long enough on this side, but this one is, thread this into a yarn needle and sew down the other side of the, of the clutch purse. And then sew a button on the front, like that. To make these flowers, I used one strand of yarn and a smaller hook. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the ring. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the ring. Now repeat that to make six loops in the ring. Okay, I have made five loops. There's my last chain five. And then slip stitch in the base of the first chain five loop and fasten off like that. And then sew a button or a bead in the center. And I made three to place on this clutch purse. And I attach two of my flowers on the actual flap and then the other one on the body of the bag. And that's how you make a clutch bag like this. And I have this little purse charm that I purchased. And I'm going to attach that on my clutch bag like that. And to make it into a cross body bag, here's how to make the strap. To make the strap, I worked a chain that was approximately 36 inches long. After I had the chain worked in the third stitch from the hook, one, two, three, I made a half double crochet. To make a half double crochet, 
you work it almost like a double, but instead of only going through two loops at a time, you pull through all three loops like that. And you just keep working it until you have it the correct length. When you get back to the end, the two yarn ends will be at the same end of the straps. This is optional. You can pass on a few beads. And if you're doing beads on the other end, you'll need to pass a small piece of yarn through the bottom. And then thread some beads onto the end. And then use these two yarn ends to tie the strap on. And that's how you can change the clutch bag into a crossbody bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.